This story starts in a cell. It's the story of how the West's colonial nightmare of Islam came to life. A vision made vision and flesh. So some of this show happens on WhatsApp, which is why I've asked you to leave your phones on and join our WhatsApp group. But look, this show isn't about instant messaging or my love of memes. This show's about men, politics, and the internet. He finds a magazine called De Beer. De Beer makes him dizzy. Inside, he reads these articles that speak to a feeling he's been carrying around for months. That every new outrage, every nightclub attacked in Paris or a gay bar attacked in the States is part of a plan. A plan that will bring this world that torments and humiliates Muslims, that torments and humiliates him, to its knees. People are very critical of social media, but that's not my experience at all. About 12, maybe 13 months ago, I met um, a gay rabbi from Alabama on Facebook. I mean, let the problems in that man's life just briefly sink in. <laughs> stale smell of stale teenager staining the air in that comfortable Orange County bedroom. But there's a new president in the White House. One that Ethan and his brothers, well, kind of helped put there. Ethan sends messages, demands translations, links to news aggregators and right-wing news sites. He clicks send. All across Europe, people go to the polls. Muslim against non-Muslim, white against black. Sides are chosen, brotherhoods are chosen. And the gray zone and democracy begin to tumble. Ethan's work finds a waiting, willing audience. 